is the millionaire mommy and today i am going to do something a little bit different so i want to do a cook with me video now i'm gonna give you a little bit of background and i'm not trying to talk a lot but i honestly i'm so nervous about this so um i try not to cook for other people or share um any skills recipes any of that with other people just because of uh you know reasons of insecurity but today i'm stepping outside that box yep i'm coming all the way outside the box this is what i'm doing today back to this food so um i have a taste for some broccoli and cheddar soup that is one of my favorites i do like panera's broccoli and cheddar soup but if i can be honest sometimes it don't have no taste and listen i'm not interested in not being able to taste my food so um i'm gonna do my own and i usually do this so that i don't have to go out and spend no money and if i be honest like y'all i think that this would probably be under i'm gonna say under five bucks but depending on what you want to add the price does go up so um my kids particularly like meat inside of their soup so i will be adding i don't want to say meat because it's shrimp but i will be adding some seafood just to give it a little bit of of flair or zest but um yeah so these are my ingredients this is fresh broccoli now you do not have to use fresh broccoli you can use whatever you got if you got frozen broccoli i don't even think they still can but if you whatever broccoli you got use it girl um now this is the melt and dip cheese now this is uh like a version of Velveeta, and the only reason i'm using that is because i'm out of shredded and i ain't going to no stove um this is shrimp and this is this is not included <laughs> But um, so this is cream of chicken. This is cream of chicken. And this one is cream of broccoli. Now, uh, I only have both because I wanted to show you that you could use both. Sometimes when I can't find, uh, I said cream of broccoli, but it's broccoli and cheese. Sometimes when I can't find a broccoli and cheese soup, um, the condensed soup in the store, I will do the cream of chicken. Honestly, it tastes the same. Like literally, the broccoli and cheese is cream of chicken. To, I feel like it is. They just add a little bit of broccoli and probably will scare some out some cheese in it. But you can use either or. I'm probably going to use both cans today because my kids really like it. And this is something that it's a one pot meal. And if you live in a part of the country where it's cold, this is going to be really a really warm meal to soothe you. And not to mention that it stick to your bones so you will not be hungry for a while. Um, now, I did show you that I, I'm gonna add shrimp, but I'm also gonna put a piece of fish in it. Why? Because that's what I got. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead. to take the time to show you this broccoli i bought this broccoli fresh from the store because you saw it in the pack right but sometimes the produce that we get it looks really really good because i promise i picked the freshest broccoli but we are not going to throw away this broccoli we are going to cut around the bad parts and that's why i'm showing you that we can still use this broccoli oops we got a little intruder we can still use this broccoli and we don't have to throw it all out just because a little bit of it is not good. So literally that's what I'm showing you, me cutting around the bad parts. And then basically we just going to rough chop this thing up, y'all. Chop up this broccoli, give it a rough chop. Don't do too much chopping or, or really in small pieces because when you start cooking it, it's going to break down some more. So um, I always rinse my vegetables. I don't know about you, but um, I'm going to take the time to fold all the vegetables over. I'm looking for any extra brown pieces that I may have missed. And then if, as you see, I'm, I'm showing you a, br a little bit of a brown piece. We're going to throw that away. Um, but if I have some pieces that are really, really big, and um they may possibly need to be broken down i'm just gonna take the time to break those up with my hand so that here we go break break it up break it up sister 
and uh just keep going like just break it up be you i don't know about you but i don't like those really really huge chunks now this water does not look clear and that is because i did season it with a little bit of chicken bouillon um, and I did that because you don't want, I don't want bland food. Now, it was just a little bit, but um, it is absolutely not enough to give this broccoli any type of flavor. It's just enough to keep it from being flavorless. So, um, yeah, put all that broccoli in there, ma'am. Now, you only need to cook this uh, maybe two, three minutes. Just give it a boil, probably not even two or three minutes, just till it starts to boil. And um, we're going to pour most of the water off. We only want a little bit of water in the bottom of the pot so that we can uh, use that little bit of water to stir the soup around. Um now, I told you that I had cream of chicken soup and I had broccoli and cheese soup. Now, I did say that this meal was under $5, and it is. Um, one can of soup costs 98 cents. That's a buck, right? One pack of broccoli, depending on what type, can cost you a dollar if it's frozen. Um, for me, one pack of this uh, fresh broccoli cost me a dollar fifty, and then uh, a bag of cheese, depending on what store, can cost you I don't know a dollar, maybe two dollars. So um, usually the meat is already something that I have. It's usually something that's left over. In this case, it was some shrimp that I already had in a freezer. So this is not one of those run out to the store kind of meals. This is one of those, it's cold outside. Maybe we need something to eat. You got leftover broccoli. I don't know. This is one of those struggle bus kind of meals. Broke mama budget kind of meals. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I put this heavy whipping cream only because that's what I have. You do not have to do that. If that if it's too much calories for you, you definitely don't. Typically, um, if I don't have heavy cream, I will pour some water or uh, maybe a little bit more um, chicken broth or, or something inside of that can just to get the rest of that, um, um, that cream of chicken out of the can and uh, pour it over in my pot. But today we use heavy whipping cream. Uh, now, the next thing that I will tell you is y'all y'all have to stir. Stir. Do not go crazy with the stirring because you don't want to have mushy broccoli. But you want to stir it because you do not want it to stick to the bottom of your pot. When cheese sticks to the bottom of the pot, uh, it turns brown and it just don't taste right and it don't look right. Um, now... When it comes to seasonings, all your seasonings are optional. You do not have to use the seasonings that I used. Um, these are just my preference. And I know that y'all see me using all this seasoning, right? But check it. I went back after I put this seasoning in. And I had to put some more seasoning because I, I, it didn't, yeah, it ain't taste right. And it was not salty at all. A lot of these seasons, I only used two seasonings that had a little, some possibly salt in it, which is this complete and the adobo. The other seasonings were just uh, powder, onion powder, garlic powder, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, and like I said, don't forget to stir y'all. You don't even know me like that. Are you pressed for time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Staying up all night. Throwing drinks back. Blue water smiling while you're cursing. I admit it's working. You're working. Don't care. Crazy is perfect, shaky and I'm slurring Cause I'm nervous It's you
All right, everybody, dinner is done. The kids are still outside, so I didn't make any plates or bowls for them, but um, I did put mine in a bowl and I put a little bit of crackers on the side, even though I'm not gonna eat no crackers, I just wanted it for the thumbnail. But um, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys give it a try. Remember, it is so simple. If there is anything that I put in mine, like the butter, the cream cheese, uh, the, the heavy cream, whatever it was that I put in it, and you want to substitute something or I don't know, add more, you do you. You the one gonna eat it. Nobody coming to your house to beat you up because you put something in or took something out. But this is real simple, probably $5 or less, depending on what type of ingredients you use. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.